Hi, I'm Louise Mowbray, and this reading is from my book, Relevant, Future Focused Leadership, from chapter seven, titled The Art and Science of Flow, in a section titled The Creative Edge, and a subsection titled Trust Your Intuition. We are emerging from a time when various experts actively discourage people from trusting their insight and intuition, preferring to pursue scientific discovery, logic, and reasoning. However, our intuition, or that little voice of truth, which often whispers rather than shouts, is the very thing that sparks the creative process. It's a uniquely human capability becoming increasingly important in our digitized AI-infused world. Or in the words of Albert Einstein, the intuitive mind is a sacred gift, and the rational mind is a faithful servant. We have created a society that honors the servant and has forgotten the gift. Fortunately, neuroscience has caught up with the age-old wisdom of trusting our gut and listening to our hearts. Apart from the big, beautiful brains in our skulls, we also have motor and sensory neurons, ganglia, and neurotransmitters in our heart and gut. They have different functions and work together in a multitude of ways. Our brain works best in running the show and reason, cognition, thinking, making meaning and creativity. Our gut helps us to make sense of situations and is the root of courage, self-preservation and mobilization. And our heart is the source of passion and compassion and takes the lead in processing our emotions, connecting with others and our values. I'll never forget the words of the client who was the partner of a venture capital company when I asked him why he had decided not to invest in one of the startups they had explored. They had done their due diligence and we had spent a great deal of time working with the founders, consulting on building the team according to funding milestones. After a final raft of meetings, they were due to sign an agreement the following day. I woke up to a message from the partner saying, please call me. He had decided not to go ahead. And when I asked him why, he said something doesn't feel right. Couldn't quite explain it, but he had a gut feeling that the timing was off. He had decided to sleep in it and woke up with clarity. Interestingly, he had little opposition when he met with his team that morning. People seemed to respect the notion that a gut feeling about something not being right was enough to walk away from months of intense work and sorely disappoint the founders of the company they were to invest in. It opened my eyes to the power of intuition and how much trust some people placed in theirs, even when logic and the data said otherwise. We'll never know whether it was the right decision. However, it was a decision the partner could live with. I took a leaf out of his book. If I'm unsure about an important decision, I let it go and sleep in it. I almost always wake up with clarity. Our intuition allows us to perceive patterns, relationships, and meanings and access knowledge that goes beyond what can be explicitly stated or reasoned. Intuition isn't an opposition to reason or logic. Rather, true understanding and wisdom emerge from a dynamic interplay between intuitive insights and analytical thinking. Both modes of cognition have unique strengths and contribute to the richness of human perception, experience, and creativity. If you're not sure you fully trust your intuition, there's a simple exercise worth practicing. Start small when you're driving, walking, or cycling somewhere and are unsure whether to turn left or right. Pause for a moment, suspend any conflicting thought, and see, hear, or feel what arrives. What was your first inclination before the debate in your mind took hold? We always have a little hint before we start analyzing. Then do that thing and see whether you were right. In the same way, when you're in a restaurant and don't know what to order, ignore other people's choices and voices, scan the menu and ask yourself, what do I need? Think of this as a game you can play all day long. Over time, you'll begin to hear that tiny voice, feel that little feeling, or see something in your mind's eye more clearly, and you'll start to trust it. It's a superpower in our day-to-day -day lives, full of micro and macro decisions shaping our future and the backdrop to the space in which ideas appear.